Leaked photos show was a Galaxy Note 8 and a Galaxy S4. The theory of multiple iPhones for 2013 gains traction, and Microsoft sets the price and release date for the Surface Pro. I'm Jaime Rivera, in desperate need for another gallon of coffee. This is Pocket Now Daily. So the theory of multiple iPhones begins to gain traction. Usually what Apple does is that they launch a newer iPhone and then the older iPhone becomes the cheaper one. But as we recently learned, Apple is apparently testing two different iPhones, a four inch device and a 4.8 inch device. And it's really hard to know which of these devices will be the entry level one, but we do know that one of these devices will probably be made of polycarbonate. Now we also know that Apple does a lot of prototyping and these could just be tests. But that said, it could also be that one of these devices is the new iPhone iPod Touch, like has happened in previous years when we thought that the iPhone 5 was really the 4S and it turned out to be the iPod Touch. Now Microsoft has just announced pricing and availability for their Surface Pro. Sales begin on February 9th and, well, the 64GB entry-level model will retail for $900. They've also announced a new touch cover design and also a new very modern looking mouse, but the problem is we still don't know if these will be bundled in the box and knowing Microsoft, that most likely won't be the case. Now the only problem is they've taken so long, I don't really know how many people are actually waiting for this device anymore. I know I'm not, but leave us a comment down below, are you waiting for it? And for those of you wondering about the LG Optimus G Pro that was recently leaked that finally became a reality in Japan. The device is very unique, very well designed, and very beautiful. It looks very different to the current Optimus G that we already know, and there are some software cues that are included that make it quite the phone. Now, aside from that, the phone does bring a beefier processor and also a beefier display at 1080p at 5 inches. The design is really beautiful, but we still don't know when it will reach the United States or any carrier, so we will keep you posted. And for those of you waiting for the Galaxy S4, we've got good and bad news. On the good side, we finally find the rendered image of the device, and apparently it will look a lot like the Galaxy Note 2, only on a smaller chassis. Apparently it will be 5 inches, and it does look quite good, though. The bad news is that sadly, we were expecting to see the device at MWC 2013, and the Samsung executive has just confirmed that the device will not be available for an announcement. We don't have a PR announcement either, so most likely we will not see this device, but knowing Samsung, they did the same thing last year. They filled the show with a lot of mid-tier devices and then they brought us the announcement in May. But apparently this announcement for the Galaxy S4 will happen earlier, so we will keep you posted on when that happens. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we've got leaked photos of the possible Galaxy Note 8. And if you look at the design, it looks a lot like the Nexus 10, only obviously in a smaller chassis and in a white color. And it just brings the interesting aspect of Note input technologies to a much more adequately sized tablet. And another interesting note here is that it does have a speaker grill for you to make phone calls, though we can't imagine you trying to do that. But we still don't have release dates, no possible launches, but most probably MWC 2013 could be the date. And that leads me to the question of the day. What would be the perfect size for a tablet or a smartphone that you would prefer for Note input? In my particular case, I do like the 5.5 inch Galaxy Note 2, but to be honest with you, I do believe in the 7 inch or 8 inch form factor. And I do believe that this would be the perfect size for a Galaxy Note device. So leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.